welcome back to another Apples and Tiara's vlog. We're starting in the car today. I used to do this all the time in my older vlogs. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I've got the phone situated in a spot where it's like perfectly safe for me to drive. And it's like the quietest part of my day and it's like uninterrupted time. So anyway, today is August 3rd and it is the first day of school. Um, I woke up super early this morning so that I could wash and blow dry my hair. <laughs> this is what it looks like when I just wake up and blow dry it. Straight as a board. <laughs> so it's 6.56 in the morning. My contract hours are 7.30 to 3.30. School hours are 8 o'clock to 2.30. So that's really nice. It gives me an hour after school to really like decompress and plan and prep things for the next day. So I'm going to school a little bit early and I don't have Cash in the car with me because today is his first day of kindergarten. And normally I would wanna be there for drop off, but because of the way that our school um, does soft start, I won't be able to take him to his classroom every day um, because I need to be posted in my classroom and ready for my students to arrive. Now, down the line, I could probably sort out how like my teammates could be standing in the hallway um, in the mornings instead so that I can take Cash down to school. Um, but for now, Scott is taking him and um, he's promised me to get like pictures and do all the things. So um, I just wanna make sure that I'm there in my classroom on the first day for any lost students. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. Cash is going to be at my school again, um, and it's like the best. Just the last couple of weeks being there with all the staff, I feel like it's going to be a really good place to be. And everyone who's there has been there for years, up to 20 plus years at the same site. So I feel like that's a really good sign. Um, and this district so far has just been really lovely. And I don't have any, like there's no red flags, there's no like hard, like icky feelings. Um, and I'm just really excited to get this part of my life started. So anyway, heading to school, um, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do this morning to just get ready for the day. I do apologize in advance if I don't get like really good meaty vlogs up I'm very in tune with my team this year. Um, I have two lovely ladies on my team this year. Maybe at some point in the year, I will introduce them to you on the vlog. As of right now, we've been working as a well-oiled machine, very cohesive. All three of us have very similar ways of doing things, of managing things, and it's just really nice to have a team where every single member is willing to go above and beyond to do things for the grade level. Um, the last team I was on, I was kind of the, the ringleader. Um, and I would have to ask my other teammates to do certain things. And uh, one of them I felt really bad asking because I knew they didn't really want to do it. Um, it was kind of like a bare minimum situation. And then the other one was brand new to teaching and I really didn't want to put anything extra on their plate um, and so I ended up doing a lot on my own, um, which is really hard. It's a lot of pressure, but where I was at that time in my career, it was okay because I had a rhythm. Um, and I feel like I still have that rhythm now because I'm teaching the same things that I've been teaching for the last three years. So I feel really good about my content and I feel really good about my instruction. Um, we'll see about curriculum. Um, I do have two new curriculums that I'm working with. The science curriculum is McGraw-Hill Inspire Science, and the social studies curriculum is TCI um, Social Studies. So if you guys have heard of those curriculums, go ahead and put um, something in the comments down below letting me know if you've heard of them, or, or if you've, even if you use those curriculums, that would be great. They seem to be pretty okay. Um, I am going to integrate mystery science in with the Inspire Sci, um, just because it is a brand new curriculum, um, and I don't want to completely dive in head first, 100% with it. 
Um, I'd rather like ease into it and put some of it into what I do with mystery science, like use the, um, use the resources alongside mystery science. And that is totally okay. Um, that way, like maybe next year I'll have a better idea of how the curriculum works and I'll be, I'll feel better and more confident about it. So, uh, and same thing with the social studies curriculum. I'll just kind of use it as a resource and kind of intertwine it with, um, with what I usually do. So with that being said, I'm almost to school. I'm going to get all this junk in. I have my <laughs> mini fridge of groceries in the back. So I need to get that in. And I also need to bring in my rain boots because Prescott is known, it is notorious for our summer monsoons through the months of July, August, September. So the skies are clear right now, but you guys, it could, it could like, it could turn, look how, oh, hold on. Look at the sky right now. It's beautiful, clear skies, but that could change within a few hours and we could be doing rainy day dismissal. So anyway, I'm gonna get inside and then I will pick y'all up when I get there. All right, you guys, so I'm inside. <laughs> it took a minute to get up here. Um, we had some gate issues, but I'm here. So um, a couple things I need to do to get started for the day. I need to get my TV on and get my slides pulled up. So my TV actually operates as a computer, like a separate one. So I don't have to like display anything to it from like a computer. Um, it's just its own computer. So I just have to make sure every morning when I come in that I get all of the things up that I'm gonna need for the day so that it's all loaded and ready to go.
Okay guys, so it's 721. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of the vlog for now. Um, and I'll pick you guys up throughout the day if I can. Um, but my students are gonna become, uh, be starting to arrive in the next 20 minutes. And I just wanna go debrief with my team for a few minutes. Um, I just sorted my transportation forms. I don't have every single child. So I am gonna go through my uh, class list and just make sure that I know exactly how everyone's getting home today. Um, send a couple messages out to parents on Dojo and then um, send an email to the front office letting them know which children I don't know how they're getting home today. So wish me luck. I'll see you guys in like a second. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it is officially lunchtime. I'm having some stir fry that we made last night. Today has gone by so well, so great, so smooth, no problems at all. Um, after lunch, we do two more hours of team building, procedures, getting on Chromebooks, and then it is the end of the day. It's crazy how fast the day has gone. I'm super behind on water, but that is to be expected on the first day of school. have a couple of really squirrely boys, which is totally normal, but they all seem really sweet and very willing to correct their behavior. I know they're all really excited to be back from summer and getting to see each other again. So what I'm going to do right now is attempt to fix all of their tech um, stickers and then print those so that I can pass them out and they can stick them on their Chromebooks now, today. So that is what I'm gonna be working on while I eat. All right, friends, so it is way, way later in the day. It is five o'clock in the evening, and normally I don't stay this late, but we had a lot of supplies we had to sort through today, and so we got it all sorted and put away where it goes, and we are ready for tomorrow. Cash, how was your first day of kindergarten? Can you tell the vlog? Really good. It was so good. What was your favorite part of the day? 
Having recess. Having recess, of course. And what did Miss say you're going to learn tomorrow? Um. What are you going to start learning tomorrow? We're going to go to the library. <gasps> the library? And, and what then, else? And then pick out our books and we're going to take them back to our classroom. And then Miss is going to teach us how to read. <gasps> She's going to teach you how to read? Yep. Do you think you'll learn to read in one day? Yep. You do? Yep. I don't know. I think it might take a few days. Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I had a really good day, too. It went by super quick. Our blocks are only 60 minutes each. And then we also have like a 45, 50 minute intervention block. And we also have a 40 minute writing block. So our, our blocks are pretty uh, short. So we're gonna have to like use as much time as possible and not waste any. But I'm exhausted, of course. Yeah, I know. Are you tired? I'm really, really exhausted. You're really exhausted, yeah, me too. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna eat and we're gonna relax. And I do have some slides I need to work on. Which um, Just for school tomorrow, but I'll wait till you're in bed to work on them. Um, just making sure they're in the right spot because I am gonna be doing um, something different with my home room tomorrow um, than I do with the other two blocks. Cause my home room got like my basic procedures and my other two blocks have not gotten those. So my homeroom will be practicing some procedures and then my other two blocks will be introducing procedures and like introductions and Mom? stuff like that. So, no. yes honey? Is it dark at Queen Creek right now? No, it's the same lightness in Queen Creek. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!